so I'm going to show you um, barge components working. Uh, it, it, so we sold this to, to Google, and they've implemented it in Google Meet. Um, and it starts by reporting a problem. If you do a report problem in Google Meet, this is the work that we're, we've been doing. Uh, and you can report an issue or suggest an idea. And if you report an issue, you can um, select the category of the issue you're um, reporting and describing your issue in here. And you can also send a screenshot of your Google Meet. You know, if you had an issue, some issues with uh, video quality, or maybe some of the avatars didn't load properly. Uh, and you describe your issue in here and you send that to Google. So, okay, uh, so I, I was obviously kidding when I said that this is actually our forge component. Uh, this is something that we are being inspired by this feedback uh, functionality from Google Meet. Uh, and we're going to build a functionality similar to that where you can embed our Forge component in your app and have this flow to submit feedback um, and recording a screenshot of your app and maybe uh, also sending some logs from your app to, to your support team, okay? Um, so that was a, a great you know, preview of what we'll be building. Uh, in terms of how do we accomplish that um, in our systems, I, created a proof of concept here um, to capture the screenshots. Now, I'm um, doing this in Firefox. Um, I could actually do this in both. When you click capture screenshot first, and you need to, uh, because of course we're accessing, you know, your browser, your pixel information, um, and you need to give permission for that. Um, so I'm going to select this screen. So as you can see, this is showing a preview of the screenshot that it will take. And when I click allow, then it captures the screenshot. And right now we're rendering it on the screen, but then uh, later on we would attach it and submit, submit it as a feedback. So just, this is just a proof of concept of this technical capability to capture a screenshot um, and, and obtain a screenshot in the application. Uh, and Google Chrome experience is very similar. I still need to um, grant permission for my app to um, grab my uh, screenshots. I can choose a specific window or I can choose a specific tab in Google Chrome. So for example, I could take, um, if I have multiple tabs of my application open, I could select um, a specific tab and then grab screenshot. Oh, it looks like it's not working in Google Chrome. So we're gonna perhaps start by fixing this bug and um, and the proof of concept that I built um, obviously was uh, using some JavaScript that I took uh, from an internet forum. Um, I have had to adapt it um, slightly um, because I was having a similar issue uh, in Firefox. Looks like I fixed it in Firefox, but it's not working anymore in Google Chrome. Uh, but basically, um this this line of javascript asks for permission of the user and then when we grant permission we can work and there's, there's a quite a few lines of code but basically we're grabbing a screenshot in here and then converting it to png and assigning it to an output parameter and from that point um, once we have that action, we can just pretty much invoke it and obtain the, the screenshots as an output parameter. Yeah, so that's what we're going to build in the next few weeks.